expect to see that heavier bout of rain. Yeah, you might need an umbrella from time to time this morning. Most of the daylight hours say from um, 9 10 o'clock this morning to about 2 3 this afternoon. I think there's going to be a lot of dry times mixing in, but we still have the rain hanging on in Sacramento, just not the intensity we had around last evening and a southerly breeze is up at 5 to 15 miles an hour to stay breezy throughout the day with a lot of clouds sticking around. We're 53 right now with that light rain falling in Sacramento stocked in the Modesto. It's cloudy with temperatures around 53 54 degrees and at the south shore of Lake Tahoe. It's rather dry 29, but we're still squeezing out a little light snow up near and around the summit. I want to take you into later today and the overnight in a place like Sacramento. We are expecting some heavy bouts of rain later in the overnight and by tomorrow morning. So looking at the hour by hour forecast for late this afternoon, anything that's around is very light in variety in terms of the rain. Once we get towards the evening and early overnight, it's rain that's steady. Then it picks up an in intensity around two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning with a gustier wind beginning to develop. And so when you're out on the roads at that time, really that driving condition could be uh, quite treacherous. Right now the wind gusts are below 20 miles an hour, but we could see those gusts around 35 miles an hour when that main band of rain moves through later in the overnight and just before daybreak tomorrow. So looking at Doppler radar again, some light, very hit and miss showers moving through Sacramento County up towards Placer County into El Dorado County, Amador County as well up about 6,000 feet, still squeezing out some light snow. You still have to chain up on Interstate 80. Highway 50, no chains right now. The snow has been much lighter. So looking at future cast and picking it up at around 3 p.m., you can see that steadier rain beginning to move its way in, especially to the north. And we'll pause this around the evening time at 9 p.m. This is when some of that soaking rain, especially from I-80 north, really begins to pick up. Then we get to about midnight, 2 a.m., and look at this heavy rain beginning to fill in. Uh, pausing this at around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes, we're going to have heavy rain, some gustier winds moving through parts of the valley into the foothills and the snow will begin to intensify in the overnight as well, mainly from 6,500 feet to the higher elevations. So still around seven o'clock tomorrow morning, we could still have some heavier downpours here and there from Sacramento to Stockton out to the east and Roseville out towards El Dorado Hills and a few pockets of heavier rain possible in the San Joaquin Valley. Now after that, once we get to around 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, some drier times start mixing in and by the afternoon the rain is tapering to showers. The snow intensity begins to taper and that snow dwindles down later in the afternoon tomorrow into tomorrow night. So looking at the rain amounts around Sacramento, Roseville, Yuba City could easily see an inch, maybe even an inch and a half of rain. Then you move up in the foothills like Auburn or Grass Valley could see two inches of rain and then a little less as you move your way down into Stockton and Modesto at three quarters of an inch of rain, maybe an inch of rain here and there. I don't think the community is going to be as treacherous as it will be around, say, the Sacramento region because we're going to see that rain in the overnight. Standing water is a possibility on some of the roadways for tomorrow morning. That is the concern that you hit the roadways in the commute tomorrow. You find some water under the underpasses or maybe just standing on some of the roadways. So periods of snow for the Sierra with 6 to 14 inches uh, closer to summit level, 6,500 feet and higher up. So that means just a couple of slushy inches around Truckee and South Lake Tahoe with that kind of snow level. So expect morning rain to be heavy at times, but it takes papers throughout the day, so certainly alert for you if you're hitting the roads for the commute tomorrow morning. We dry out Tuesday with some fog in the morning, some showers on Wednesday, but that rain looks much lighter. And then at the end of the week, we have some clouds mixing in with temperatures in the 60s. All right, we look forward to some dry periods. Today. Yes, it's coming.